Welcome to this special edition of Inside Government. I'm Cedric Peterson, and in my studio this time around, we have a great collaboration between the Department of Sport and the Department of Culture. Yay. In studio, Janelle Richardson, head of the Department of Sport and head of the Department of Culture, Ms. Clara Reyes. Great to have both of you in studio. Open house. Yes, that time of year again. again. Yeah, so, we're coming up. This is our fourth annual and I would say fourth annual. Last year we didn't have one because of the hurricane. Right. Um, and and getting to that time, but it's okay. It's the fourth year around that we're organizing the annual sports open house. And August this year. Yep. August twenty fourth, August twenty fifth. Yes. Now, this year, this collaboration's this, got me buzzed. Yeah. So. This year is something new. What's what's going something on? Something new. We we try to switch it up a little bit. Right. And because we have a new colleague in the ministry, Clara Reyes. You know, the legendary. <laughs> oh dear God. Um, <laughs> she decided, or we decided, mm-hmm. that we should collaborate. Okay. And um, because culture and sport, you know, we we, we we go hand in hand. Yeah, culture and sport go hand in hand. They try to say they try to say that some of what they do is sport related. I don't really think so. What? It's just artistic. Did she just throw the gauntlet? <laughs> I, I think no, she, no, no. I think she did. Whoa, 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 I think whoa, whoa. she did. I think she did. Um, but, um, so, you know yeah. a ballerina stronger than a football player, right? I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so we collaborate. So we got the sport open house and the creative <laughs> industries okay. this year. So oh we're, we're um, coming together and we're bringing together all the different sport organizations um, that we have normally and um, including the creative industries because we want everybody to know what we do. Right. And um, highlight what we do and bring that out. So, yeah. And, you know, it's to kind of answer those parents that keep saying, there's nothing to do for kids on St. Martin. Mm. So we so want to, sh- you know, we want to show them there's okay. a gamut of activities. Everything on land, in the air, mm-hmm. and in the sea is available right here on the rock, whether it's creative or very, whether it's athletic, it's mm-hmm. available. Digital or how you say, tactile, you name it, it's available on St. Martin. It's just a matter of, showcasing the, the platform, making it available, let people know it's there, yeah. and hence a collaboration between the Department <laughs> of Sports and Education. And I have to give my gratitude to Ms. Janelle Richardson, former dancer herself. <laughs> <laughs> you had to put that one she, on there, huh? Yes. Oh, she just Actually, opened up on that she, one. She, yeah, she had to She was my me. first <laughs> dance student when I first started my dance school in Bali in Interesting 1994. Fact. Interesting yeah. fact. I keep hunting for her in a pitch in a tutu, but I can't. Yeah, not, still trying to find it. Find that. <laughs> okay, so, so let's yeah, set some background here in regard to the, um, the to the house. actual open house. Um, and, um, so we've done this on a yearly basis. Um, uh, most of the time, we have between 20, ten and fifteen sport organizations. So the last um, couple of years that we've had it, um, the previous time we had it, sorry, it was um, two days. Mm-hmm. The first day was for the schools um, because the first time we did it, it was just on a Saturday and it's for the general public, and we thought. Um, we didn't. We weren't able to engage and grab grab as many kids and the youth as we wanted to. Mm-hmm. So um, we switched up the format and did it on two days. So that's why it's on a Friday and a Saturday. And basically, what we're doing is we're bringing the kids to the field, to the open house, to the expo, um, so that they are aware of what's going on, and then they can go to their parents and say, "Look, Ma, Dad, you know this stuff is going on. I want to sign up for this, that, and the other." So um, on the twenty fourth, that's what we're going to be doing again. With all we're the gonna schools. have with all the schools, yeah. So we're gonna set up at the Rahul Illich Sport Complex. Um, so once you enter into on the field, you'll see the tents um, and all the, the the different organizations on display, showing what they do. Um, and hopefully they'll have pamphlets and information and, and some whatnot. demonstrations, so and people demonstrations. can see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're gonna have that all set up. So on the Friday, we're gonna be busing kids. The last time we did it, I think it was about 1,500 to 2,000 kids we bused from all the different schools, mm-hmm. primary schools and high schools. Um, and then we bused them to the, the the venue, and then it was almost like a you can go from one stall to the next and experience everything that's there to offer. So, And then on the Saturday, is the is open for the general public. Um, and that day, um, the plan is for from one to six, uh, because the lights got damaged after the hurricane. So. Uh, we're not going to go too late into the mm-hmm. evening. Uh, so it's one to six, and all the stalls are going to be set up. We have the arts. We have sport. We have some of the gyms are going to be participating. We have Even, healthy eating right, options. Food industry. Food industry. They're going to uh, businesses who do sport equipment or sport uh, materials. They're going to be available and on hand as well. 
Um, we're going to have demonstrations. So the arts are going to be there and they're going to be doing whatever dance and, and, and whatever. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. That athletic and, sport. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have everything set up over there. Um, and then uh, we have some we have some um, interesting things that we're going to hi- try to highlight on the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour as well. So we're hoping to have like Zumba, cl- a Zumba class being done. Um, so anybody can participate in that. We're looking at some type of an aquatics type um, um, class as well to happen. Um, we also are thinking on involving um, and, and having a race of some sort, like a celebrity race of some sort. Um, my thoughts were to get all the ministers of sport to, to get in there and race each other and see who wins. That will be but a we'll, classic. I, I think that would be interesting to get Epic. all of them in. Epic. <laughs> I should get Epic. involved. Especially since we have like, you know, some major sport people who've been in our ministry or ministers of our ministry before. So okay. um, I, I don't want to say whether or not my dibs are on, on Miss Jacobs, MP Jacobs, or or maybe Miss oh, Arundel. You have to tussle for her because she's a know. dancer as well. Um, former, well, I'm not sure, former I'm not minister sure, I'm not sure how you're going to make sure. this happen since um, uh, Minister Yurin has switched hats. Yeah. So, how, so, so, that, so that leaves her she might not. She might not be, be involved in that one, um, but maybe Minister Smith might jump in there jump we'll, in there. Okay. <laughs> we'll see okay. but yeah it's a it's an idea so we're, we're we're gonna contact everybody and see you know if they can they can um participate in all in good sport okay. obviously um but yeah we have a lot, lot of stuff going on the department of sport in collaboration with the department of culture and national sports institute presents the first annual sport and creative industry open house on august 24th and 25th at the raul Lilith sports complex Friday, August 24th is geared towards primary and secondary schools from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And on Saturday, August 25th, it will be open to the general public from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. The first annual Sport and Creative Industry Open House. Don't miss it. Why the collaboration this year? Why did you guys see the need to you go be ahead. sure I'm let you that, go. that Well, that again, happens? is that, uh, you know, <clears throat> you, you always hear parents say there's nothing enough for kids to okay. do. So we both are very active. I myself was a sports person. I played softball and volleyball, and then I switched over to the arts. Mm-hmm. But there is so much to do. We are both very active in our industries. You know, we want people to come out and know that we exist. We want to create a platform to give the people who are engaged in activities, to give them a platform to let people know that they exist. Um, the Raul Illich Sports Complex is the, the perfect venue in that it's huge. It's centrally located. There's sparking available. You know, we collaborate well together. And in, in a lot of areas, the industry do cr- cross, cross platform. Mm-hmm. And there's also the supporting industry. For instance, people need to know, like, for instance, like businesses like Colors that sell leotards and tights, they need to know there's a supporting component to the industry. Mm-hmm. So it's a great area to just blast the community, there is things to do that is constructive and that it gives the child an experience that lasts a lifetime. You know, So it's really educating, bringing the knowledge about what the benefits are and how this adds to their lived experience and adds a rich dimension to a child, instills discipline, self-esteem. You know, Kids that are involved in great activities end up doing good in school You know, most of the time, you understand? So we really want the community to know that we're very actively involved involved in what we do and we want to engage a community. So we have mm-hmm. two engaging people just, you know, yeah. shaking up the community. And Clara, okay. Clara just came into our ministry, as I, I previously said, and, and um, once she heard what we were doing, um, she was right on there like, yeah, let's, let's get culture involved as well. Mm-hmm. You know, she's brought a different kind of um, feel to culture and the department of culture. Um, as you can see, she's very colorful. So she brings that <laughs> colorful nature to 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 the the ministry and the department of culture. Um, so you know, once she heard what I was doing, she was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in." So I'm, I'm really like, happy that how could I not be in? <laughs> you know, this it's is a great opportunity. You know, because why not capitalize on one event? Mm-hmm. You know, to bring all of these different types of people together so that the com- the community, as she says, says, will know what's going on. You know, and and we've done this on a yearly basis. Um, because we're also trying to to bring awareness to the sport organizations. A lot of them don't have the um, the wherewithal or the expertise or the or, or the, the, the the funds or whatever mm-hmm. to be able to do such an event um, to bring uh, awareness to what they do. Mm-hmm. You know, and as as Department of Sport, uh, we try to support our 
patrons. We try to support the people who execute sport on our behalf. And, and, and this is one of those ways that we're trying to support them by bringing awareness to what they do. And um, the more people sign up to these different programs, the better it is for our youth. Mm -hmm. The better it is, it's not just for the youth, our community in general, Mm -hmm. the better it is for everybody um, to be engaged in anything, you know. Um, Following the hurricane, um, the the, the arts, they had programs open for the youth to participate for free, you know, and and that created an avenue um, of expression for these young people following such a devastating type of event. Janelle, I um, I noticed that you had um, got an early jump on this year's open house. uh Registration, how did things go there? in regard to people signing up, what was the response like? Um, well, we, we, we contacted all the sports organizations, and so far we have about 15 organizations who have confirmed their participation. The Department of Sport, in collaboration with the Department of Culture and National Sports Institute, presents the first annual Sport and Creative Industry Open House on August 24th and 25th at the Raul Lillard Sports Complex. Friday, August 24th is geared towards primary and secondary schools from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And on Saturday, August 25th, it will be open to the general public from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. The first annual Sport and Creative Industry Open House. Don't miss it. So far in my network alone, I've reached out to over 115 organizations. And the arts is a little different because people are more individualistic. So you have a music teacher, a dance teacher, you know. So we're reaching out to everybody as well as the food industry, like she mentioned, like uh, Arena Base Cafe, Fit Food, Mm -hmm. all of these industries that offer healthy eating, vegan. uh, There's a new organization called Free Vegan, uh, Vegan SXM. And uh, good to enlighten people, you know, how to eat healthy and to support what they're doing in their industry. So it's all coming together, one place, one location, a gamut, a wide range of individuals, organizations, and uh, supporting industries to both of our industries to come together and let the community know they exist. And we provide a platform for them to showcase themselves. And literally, basically, at no cost to them. All they have to do is really show up. Yeah and present themselves, and we'll do the rest. We're gonna be promoting them. There's gonna be a blast in, of information coming at you. The media. The media information. So if you're out there and you're an individual and you're in industry, you have some part of a service that you support, whether it's in the sport industry or the creative industry, we're here to support you and give you a platform to showcase yourself. Department of Sport, in a collaboration with the Department of Culture Sport Open House, August 24th, 25th venue. Rahul Ali Sport Complex. And you're the invited sport to come out. Sport and Creative out. Industries Open House. We got to include that. And the, the starting sport. time again, you said you wanted to creatively use your time based on the fact yeah. there's no lights yeah. so available. So on the Friday for the schools, okay. it's from 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And we're going to be having a schedule picking up the kids from the various schools. So they're only going to be there for about a half an hour, an hour. Um, and then on the Saturday, it's from 1 to 6 and um yeah and that's and that's more community oriented so yes. we expect parents to be more responsible and be more engaged and really come out we're doing this for you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we really invite the community of parents grandparents uncles are and support structures of the families come out find out what's available you know take the initiative we're providing you the platform come out and see what's available and sign up your child yeah okay hashtag sports matter most definitely <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much for taking the time to come in and uh, shed some light on this activity. Thank much success much and good us. luck. And, of course, to our viewers and listeners, thank you for tuning in and being a part of this special edition of Inside Government. If you've missed our broadcast, be sure to log on to the official government website, stmartingov.org. On behalf of the team here at the Department of Communication, I'm Cedric Peterson. Thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm.